Hello, welcome back to a video from a fallen tree. We're going to go into Minecraft here to visit our nice server, Famcraft, that is operated by a few people. And we're going to take a look at the Project Ori, our big carrier that we've been building. Let's go in. Starting off on the main deck, or the flight deck as it's known as, with my horses. Visiting around in the farm and so forth. Going around. There's the main flight tower or the bridge. That is housed to two people in the observation deck. This house here is available for anybody who wants it. The nice grand library that took a while to build. Still in his nearing finishing and just needs a lot of bookshelves now. It has an enchantment table and some other stuff in there. The first store actually on board the ship that's fully functional and is fully stocked as well. It's the bakery with the nice bread, pie, and whatnot. And then just charging down the entire flight deck. It's very open, thus far we have an open invite to anybody on the server who wants to build on the server's largest ship, which is at 850 blocks long. The amazing part about this ship is even when you're on it, you don't feel like you're on a ship. You actually feel like you're still on the world, on the standard land. It's that big. You can't see you from one end to the other, just on top of a tower, or even on a large nerd pole. Finally at the end of the flight deck. And just looking down. Yep, there's vast open spaces between the flight deck, which would actually be the hangar deck, but we're going to fill that with something else. We have a mall already planned in the earlier portion of the beginning bow sections of the ship, along with the fireworks deck that's already finished. And it has already been operating a wee bit too. We've had a few fireworks displays already. But yeah, four decks to put in stuff. And that's a lot of space. 850 blocks long by four levels. And charging back down the deck to the bow section again. We even have a minecart track that is getting built, which will also help with transportation around the ship. That's located on the hangar deck. And that will boost you from stop to stop, going from the first mall to the second mall, to the fireworks deck up front, to the loading ramp on the side, the granite staircase. Past the forest, where you try to stay as self-sustainable as possible. We have the farm located down there, where we can supply all of our wood as we need. Yep, on the other side of the wall, with the map on it, is the first, the first mall. And it has six shops, three per side. None of them are occupied, so they are completely free for anybody's occupation. There is no money involved with that whatsoever. It's really, we just want people to enjoy the working on the ship. And as you saw from the map, we are building a second ship. It's called Fubuki. It's Imperial Japanese Navy destroyer from World War II. She measures at 115 blocks long by 17 wide. Or was it 15? Walking into the bridge, the first room is BNSF. Our club room, anybody in the cl clan can come in here and take stuff from the chest or put stuff into the chest and they can decorate this room as they please along with the rest of the ship at that too. Then my room, I am the captain of the ship after all. This is my clan and I started it and the beginning of the ship. Our little elytra jump point, the tallest point in the ship. 
slide down. Yeah, now you get a better look at the Fubuki. It only took three hours to build our entire hull and drain it out of water. That shows how much expertise we have now with building ships, especially after Ori herself was finished. But I doubt she'll ever be truly finished with full interior and all that. Now into the little boat from the fishing island that we have right there along the dock and give you a nice view of the ship on the outside by the water level. It gives you a full view of how big this thing really is. And there's the beginning of one of the gun decks which was used in the actual model was used for anti-aircraft guns but we're using it for small little gardens as depicted from the animation show that we based Ori off. Yeah, girls and Panzer but don't mention that in the clan ser the server because we have res restrictions on that which is fine with me. Experience a little lag the server is not laggy itself, it's more of if you're traveling too fast, you yourself experience a little lag. The server is very clean on lag, so all lag that is there, sometimes it is done by a server admin or moderator that's exploring new chunks in the world, because the world is still not fully explored, but most of the time all lag is actually by player base depending on the full strength of your computer. And I've seen people with laptops that can still play this and they enjoy playing it. Any leg is on their laptop because it's a weak laptop. I built my own computer and even finally updated, upgraded it with a new hard drive and it's still a little leggy here and there. The full stern section with a very open aft section. They can be used for a lot of stuff. Yep, we had to destroy two islands just to even build the hull on the ship. A little more leg. Sometimes you have to stop a little bit just to let the entire ship load up because it is a big ship and I'm using far distance settings as well. If I was doing small it would be even bigger. There's the smokestacks from the boilers. The boilers are located right underneath. Small island uh, that has been occupied and we've made friendly conversations with or tried to but the person that lives on that island hasn't been on in five months but she will get a big surprise when she comes on again and sees how big the ship is we've offered her to help her in any ways and if she wants yeah we'll she can visit the ship anytime she wants because it's right next to her backyard or front yard depending on which way you look at her island and now we're coming up to the stern section of the fabuki As we expand onto the dock, we're building more ships too. We already have another a Fletcher class destroyer in plan for this on the same dock that Fubuki's on, probably right behind her. Then we're planning on yeah, the Kao class Japanese cruiser and either a Iowa class battleship or a Yamato class battleship. Probably go with a common census on the server. Ask okay, what would you like to see next on the fleet of Ori? her ballast section which protrudes rather nicely over the dock. Fortunately she's not going to be as tall but it's all the superstructure work that's going to be rather interesting with her especially with the the forward and aft guns that she have. They're two barrel guns of 100 and seven, uh, 153 millimeters. back around the dock. This dock actually will be expanded a little bit later to help fit the F Fletcher class destroyer that will go on. And a random cow floating in the water. Mm. What do you know?
going through all the window work and up to the bow bow was the first thing done on the ship it wasn't exactly the easiest thing to do but after we got the main print down of the bow the rest of the side of the hull was very quick to do as it is just straight the bow protrudes very nicely it makes a good jump point too if you can get up on it or you can do the little titanic scene on the bow too which is always fun here and there And what was the beginning of a small underwater city that I started before we even got Ori, Ori's bow or even the hole fully planned out. And it's been down there for a while. It's unused, so whatever happens to it, whatever. Don't exactly care about it now. And now through the progress photos, this is the first stage that we got when the hole was finished following the beginning of the flight deck first expansion area after the stern and then filling in with the dirt there's two levels of dirt on the flight deck itself the final project with all the dirt and it's the whole complete and then the first one we have with a little bit of fabuki enjoy